Mark out the location of the wall by checking the design drawings or by agreement with the project engineer, architect or client. Excavate the trench for the foundation. Install the foundation material and fully compact with the plate compactor. The typical depth of the foundation should be 200mm after compaction. To ensure a level base course, remove the nib from the base of the blocks to be used on the base course using a bolster and a club hammer. Place the blocks onto the foundation and use a string line along the back of the blocks to check for alignment. Fill the gap in front of the base course with on-site soil and fully compact level with the base course. Lay a perforated drainage pipe at the outer edge of the concrete backfill area. The pipe should connect to a suitable outlet or soak away. The pipe should be wrapped in the geotextile to prevent clogging. A geotextile permeable membrane should be installed against the retained ground. Ensure the base course blocks are completely level and then fully fill the block voids with concrete. Poker or tamp to ensure the voids are fully filled. Fully compact the soil in front of the base course. Use a spirit level to ensure the blocks are level as you build each course. Before the concrete has set, brush the top of the blocks to ensure there's no excess material. Push the blocks forward until the nib on the base of the block tightly locates against the course beneath. Place the blocks on top of the base course ensuring that they are in a running bond pattern in relation to the blocks on the base course. Vertical joints should not directly line up between courses. It is important that no more than four courses are constructed and backfilled at a time. Continue to fill the voids with concrete. Poker or tamp to ensure the voids are fully filled. The finish level of each pour must be a minimum of 75mm below the top block to facilitate the nib on the rear of the next course. Install the concrete backfill. Before the concrete has set, brush the top of the blocks to ensure there's no excess material. Brushing should be carried out on each course. Each lift of concrete must be cured overnight prior to installation of further courses and subsequent backfilling. Repeat the block lane, void filling and backfilling process until the full height of the wall has been achieved. Place 10mm drainage aggregate at the top of the wall according to the design. Top off the area behind the wall with soil. To install the secure copings, use a concrete exterior grade construction adhesive applied with a cartridge gun. Generously apply the adhesive to the block. For full installation details and material specifications, please download or secure a technical guide.